Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about performing privilege escalation on a Windows 7 target using the UAC bypass. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one virtual install of Kali Linux, one virtual install of Windows 7 Pro or Enterprise, and we need to establish a MetaPredator session with our Windows 7 target before we can run the exploit. In our previous lab, we learned how to automate the process of creating a MetaPredator listener on our Kali machine just by building a script. Once we created the script, we saved it to our work folder. We're going to begin the process by finding our work folder on our desktop. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to select Open Terminal here. So that we can get Metasploit to recognize this script when it starts up. At my terminal prompt, I've typed in MSF console space dash R space the name of the script that I need it to run. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. Once the script does launch, we will have a listener on our Kali machine. The next thing we have to do is run the payload.exe from our target so that it can establish that MetaPredator session on our Kali machine. So let's go ahead and visit our target machine. Let's go to start. Let's go to documents and up inside of the documents I have my payload.exe. I'm going to go ahead and double click it and now I'm going to select run. Give it a couple of seconds. Let's return on over to our Kali machine and you'll notice that I now have that MetaPredator prompt. We are now able to continue on with the lab. Now to see who I am currently logged on as with the session between my Kali machine and the Windows 7 target, I can type in get UID. And it says I am currently logged on as IE user. Now to see if I can escalate my privileges, I'm going to type in get system. Hit enter. And it says that this operation failed. Now the reason it failed was because it was stopped by the user access control, which is set to always prompt. Since there's nobody there to answer the prompt, that caused the operation to fail. So the first thing we need to do is send our MetaPredator session to the background. Now to do this, I'm just going to use the background command. Now this brings up my Metasploit prompt. Let's go ahead and type in clear. Now to see or to find what exploits are currently available to help me bypass the UAC, I can use the search function up inside of Metasploit. So at the prompt, I've typed in search space bypass UAC, all one word. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it brings me up all of the different exploit modules that I have available to me for bypassing the UAC on my Windows 7 machine. Now the one we want to use is the very first one up here at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, copy selection. I'm going to go back down here to my prompt and I'm going to type in the word use, give it a space, right click, and I'm going to paste my selection. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Again, let's go ahead and clear our prompt. I'm now going to have to tell Metasploit that it's going to have to join the session one that is currently running Metapredator. That's going to allow this exploit to run and communicate with my target machine. So I've typed in set space session one. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back to the prompt letting me know that that command completed successfully. Now that this exploit is associated with my Metapredator session, all I have to do is type in the run command. Hit enter. And it comes back letting me know that the bypass UAC can bypass this setting and it is continuing on and that I am now part of the administrators group and it is still continuing on. So now if we do a get system and I hit enter, you'll see that I am in memory as the admin. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how easy it was to reestablish that MetaPredator session using that script that we wrote in the previous lab. You also got to see how easy it was to escalate our privileges on a Windows 7 Pro or an Enterprise machine just by using the Bypass UAC exploit. 
So if you got any questions, you got concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.